Hi, I'm Alex and I'm from Belito, South Africa. I'm 25 years old and I am an English teacher in Beijing, China. It's the Blue Mask! The Blue Mask! I'm from a very small coastal town. Um, I have born and bred there and I've never known anything else really. And I needed something that was going to kind of shake up my entire universe. And a friend of mine was out here teaching at the time and chatted to me one evening and basically put it down to if you do it and it goes horrendously, that's okay. If you do it and it works out, bonus. And that was it. It just came down to the simple decision that I really needed to take charge of what I wanted to do with my career. And I needed something that I could look back on one day and say, you know what, I, I lived and I did even more than survive in China. I actually, I thrived and I lived a really full an incredible life here. Our living situation is phenomenal. We've got a really cute apartment. It's myself and a friend of mine, Steph. Um, her and I live together in a cute two bedroom. Typical morning for me is very, very much slow motion, very relaxed. Um, we don't like to do too much before work and I'm very grateful that I am able to have my mornings to myself seeing as how I started half past two. So always like a cup of coffee, maybe a read, probably just relaxing, listening to some music. We've got a couple great places across the road from us, really nice restaurants, couple cafes. We might meet up for, with some girlfriends for a coffee or a drink, but otherwise it is it's just a very slow, very relaxed morning. Um, and then we usually head down to work around half past one. So it is, it's, it's great being able to have the mornings to do pretty much whatever we want. He should definitely be stopping. That's hilarious. <laughs> a huge factor for me is the fruit culture in China. I am a massive foodie and it's a big part of my day. And it's been really, really great finding out that there are so many options out here. Obviously, you do have your usual Western options. They've got all the major fast food chains. But the Chinese food, the traditional proper Chinese food has definitely been my biggest selling point. We've got a few favorite spots, um, one of which is called Wiggly Jigglies, which is a super eclectic, vibey, different cafe. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Alicia, you can all this. Have you not seen this before? It's so <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Which and they've merged Chinese and Western food together perfectly, which is your ideal spot. Um, it just gives you a taste for, you know, no pun intended, but it gives you that taste of both worlds, which is great. It's it's the perfect merger between what you're trying to find out here. Consider this a warning to anyone who thinks they're game enough to try it. That's the first chili bird. Oh, Steph's ready to try it. I'm ready it's to throw so funny. down, son. Can I have the that's, um, I do like the court today. Oh, can I also have the president back? Okay, no problem. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Her favorite, you know. <laughs> For sure, biggest selling point has been my cost of living out here. Um, in terms of just being able to get drinking water, being able to have fresh fruit and veg in the fridge, being able to cook dinner. Our cost of living is incredibly low in comparison to back home. And when I'm converting, I'm doing a higher rate from Kwai to our South African Rand. So for anyone coming out from the UK or from the States, you are going to be unbelievably shattered at just how cheap the cost of living is out here in China. What's wrong? This way? We can go this way? No. Okay. My job in China is, for lack of a better word, the most phenomenal, phenomenal thing I've, I've ever been able to do. I am obsessed with my job and it is by far the most fulfilling and wonderful thing I've, I've ever done. Favorite part about my job is definitely the, the lovingness and the friendliness of the kids and it makes me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> um, these kids love you. These kids have you on a pedestal and they think that there is nothing better than their teacher who speaks English. They are constantly giving me little gifts, they're constantly making me little cards and trinkets and I don't think anywhere else in the world you can feel this kind of love from your kids. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
English through different mediums so instead of having English as a subject we teach the kids different subjects using English as the main medium of language. A couple of my favorites we have music classes which consists entirely of me singing and dancing for about 40 minutes which my kids love and I love even more um, and that incorporates another lesson we have called global leadership which is really a more of a holistic learning experience. We're teaching them to be healthy, we're teaching them about the importance of exercise and looking after themselves. Little things like saying please and thank you and the importance of washing your hands and brushing your teeth. It sounds like incredibly simple learning, but when you realize that you're part of the most important aspect of a child's life um, when it comes to growing up, it's, it's a huge honor and it is a huge responsibility as well. Right now we are on our way to our office, which I'm going to apologize for the mess. It's mildly chaotic, um, but that's just, it comes with all the prep and all the busyness of getting ready for classes. Our office is really cool because it's a combination of the Chinese teachers and the foreign teachers, which just makes the dynamic between the two of us really, really great. And then that way we're able to share materials and share ideas and, and really work together and form a solid relationship before we get into the classroom. Prep can go from anything as simple as printing off worksheets that the kids need to paint to anything that's a bit more intricate. Uh, for example, on our prep board we've got things like a robot that we would make where we're teaching the kids about different shapes, different colors. Um, they're learning how robots work and how they move and we would incorporate the different language that goes with that. First, what is this? It's a map! Yes, you remember! Thank you! It's a map! It's a map! And more often than not, the mom's like, oh, no, thank you. But the dads will always have a try. Yeah. And they are like, whoa, it's so salty now. You like salty? Hands up! And you can say, oh, I like salty. And there's definitely kids. So that is our day. It was a very busy day, but it was a very good day. Um, I think highlight of my day would most definitely have to be my stage fours. Um, I've watched them go from stage two to three to four, and watching them grow is, is phenomenal. But I now take my teacher hat off, and we are now going to meet some friends at our favorite pub, which is Paddy's. And that is the perfect way to wind down, especially when you only start at 2.30 tomorrow. So on for a couple drinks for the evening. <laughs>